the Seattle International Film Festival is actually the largest film festival, believe it or not, in the United States. Uh, the May 26th, 7 p.m. Pacific Place. You have to be crazy to work at film festival. You have to be insane to do it more than once. 450 films from 92 countries, 70 documentaries, 165 plus feature films. 19 archival films, 49 world premieres, 51 North American premieres, 18 US premieres, and 62 films by women directors on 12 screens to over 150,000 people over 25 days. Every film comes in a Hana hard drive, in a case, and we've got hundreds of them. What does it really take to pull off a film festival? Coffee and acid. Five hour energy drink, and occasionally. So you're a little under budget? Just. Alrighty. So there are 450 films in the festival, so we design over a thousand graphic pieces. Event signage, newspaper ads, magazine ads, passes, and uh, the platinum pass here. I love that moment where a filmmaker or a film connects to an audience, and it's, it's, it's almost palpable, you can see it. The stories are universal, and you don't think you have something in common with you know, a female theater director from Bangladesh, but you do. A great French comedy that's politically incorrect and you probably wouldn't get made here. Uh, I kissed a girl about a, a gay guy who's about to get married to his husband he loves, and he ends up sleeping with a woman and rethinks the whole thing. This, everyone's up in arms that he's gonna marry a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who would make that kind of movie and why would they? And that's like, yes. How do you feel at the end of a festival? Tired. Relieved, tired. Uh, there are, there's such a thing as uh, post-fest blues. I garden after the festival is over. I spend a month in my garden um, reconnecting and, um, and then I start watching movies for 2016.